Okay, today we're going to play something different. We're playing some Dauntless today because uh, we, we finished the uh, Farfetch'd hunt. And um, I don't have any other shiny hunts on my docket right now. So we're, we're going to play some of this today. Uh, sorry if it's a little blurry. Um, I'm recording this at uh, 0 0.8 times zoom, so I'm zoomed out. And uh, yeah, the zoom out camera is a little blurry, but it was the only way I could get this much of the screen on cam all at once. So unfortunately, it's it's gonna be a little a little blurry. It's it's either that or uh, just not everything is gonna be in focus at a time. So yeah, hopefully it's not too bad. I don't I don't think it is. Um, the only things that are like pretty hard to see are like my potions and whatnot down in the bottom corner there but uh yeah you, you can see my my slayer here and uh you'll be able to see the monsters that i'm fighting so that's uh that's the important thing for right now uh but yeah if you guys don't know about this game this is dauntless um it's essentially a budget monster hunter if that rings a bell more um i do play monster hunter as well but dauntless is pretty nice because it's cross play and cross progression so monster hunter is neither of those things <laughs> so having a free to play alternative that is it's very nice uh but yeah we uh this game updated a couple weeks ago and added some new content and i figured i'd uh just do a little do a little of that just just cuz uh, as i've said in the past couple of shiny hunting videos that i just been really bored lately and making videos is fun so i'm making videos on whatever uh all right so right now i'm just grabbing some little like daily things and then we'll get into get into fighting some stuff um what do i have six out of ten do, do, do. But yeah, here we'll go through. We'll look at my. This game has seven different weapon types. Uh, I play all of them a little bit here and there. Sword is my main weapon. I have a build for every element. And then there is strikers or fists, axe, uh, war pike or spear hammer, repeaters or guns, and chain blades. So yeah, uh, we'll, uh, we'll do, we'll do, uh, we'll do some fists, play with fists, I haven't used this weapon in a while. Um, yeah, let's, uh, oh wait, I'm not quite done grabbing my things. Uh, this one... That one, I'm missing one. Um, it's probably right there. Yep, okay. Boom. All right. Let's get into some actual gameplay. We're going to do Radiant Escalation. This is some newer content to this game. Escalations are an old content, but the specifically Radiant one is new. I farmed a little bit of it. Um, right here, gear check. I've got it up to level 11 out of 25. Can't really see the level from that screen, but you can see it right there. All right, let's go do a couple of these. These don't take too long, so we'll probably do two or three of them in this video. And um, maybe if I'm feeling spicy, we'll do a. Uh, do a hard one. Uh, am, I, am, I, am I good to rock? Yeah, I'm good to rock. Alright. So, let's do some fighting. Hunt some monsters. So, the way that escalations work in this game is you start in... And there are easies have four rounds, hards have five. Uh, round one, you fight one monster. 
which technically in this game they're called behemoths, but I'm just going to use Monster Hunter terms. Um, round one, you fight one monster. Round two, you fight two monsters at once. Uh, round three, you do one monster again. And uh, round four, you're back to fighting. Or, yeah, yeah, round four, you're back to fighting two things at once. And then round five, if you're doing hards, you fight the Keystone Behemoth, otherwise known as the Boss or the Legendary Behemoth. Right now, I'm using... Where I'm using fists, a lot of... This weapon is v technically, I think, the most complicated weapon in the game. Because it just has a lot of combos. Like, a lot of combos. Well, not really. You have these three. You have three combos, but you need to know them. Because that way you can do big damage like that. But yeah, if... One, well, once I get my computer back, um, if people have been enjoying these videos um maybe i'll make a new fresh account and uh start start fresh for the uh for the viewers by then i'll be able to do some streaming as well so that'll make things a little easier at the end of every round you get something called an amp which is what i just picked up there the various amps give you various different boosts and whatnot, and there are little out of uh, out of level boosts you can get called uh, like amp boosters that you get by leveling up, and uh, that just adds more uh, adds more power and stuff to you. Let me uh, see if I can get my health bar on screen. There we go. That way I can actually see my health without having to look behind the camera. Alright. I've played a lot of this game, so uh, yeah, I, uh, I can, I'm pretty good at predicting uh, what a lot of the enemy monsters are going to do. Ow. <clears throat> Not this one, I guess. <laughs> I still got the interrupt. Oh, shoot. Messed up. But yeah, the way that the fist weapon works is you need to constantly be using all of your combos and applying the, like, buffs that you get from them. Ooh, it's going well. I didn't even use my uh, I didn't even use my amp that time. All right, what amp are we getting this time? Oh, yeah, this is a new one. Sure. I don't. I'm not used to this one, but sure, we'll use it anyways. Oh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a second because I have a mission to fight this guy without taking a uh, hundred damage, and uh, my the weapon I'm using has a special effect that uh, might be able to help me out with that. Uh, this is gonna be impossible to read. I'll zoom in so you can actually read it. Once charged, your next attack places a frost brand that deals 2,500 frost damage after 30 seconds. Slayers can destroy the brand to detonate it for an additional 50% damage. So, yeah. It is pretty strong, and I really like these weapons. When I f uh, first got back into this game, because I played it uh, back when it first came out, um, Back when I got back into this game, I discovered how strong that unique effect is. Uh, camera. A good spot. There we go. Alright. Let's see if I can do this. Got my thing all charged. Avoid that. 
<laughs> immediately took one damage. Oh, love it. I hate this thing so much. It's not even that bad, but the mission, like, beating this thing without taking a hundred damage, like, that's so, that's such a little amount. Like, you pretty much need to beat it without taking any damage at all, because any hit at all is going to do a hundred damage. <laughs> like, that is such, I, I don't know why it's so little. Like, they might as well just make it beat it without taking any damage at all, because... That's pretty much what you need to do to, in order to get it. Ooh. Yeah, the, the fist, uh, fist thunderclap is pretty strong. Take a free heal from this, might as well. Oh, I guess I gotta take two sips. I still didn't use my amp. <laughs> Alright. And we got this time. So this will be the last amp we grab, because this is going into round four on an easy. So this is the last round. Uh, this specific escalation actually has an additional uh, fifth amp that you can pick up going into hards, which none of the other escalations have. Oh, missed my discipline punch. Great. I hate this guy. This th this thing is such a pain. Why am I so slow all of a sudden? Oh, cool, and I'm blind. God, I hate this thing so much. Go away. <laughs> Back here. Oh my god. I can't do anything. Get back here! Oh my god. <laughs> Dude! Enough! Oh my god, I hate these stupid blinding snails. Oh, great. Oh my god, why am I so slow all of a sudden? My attack speed feels like snail speed. I do not appreciate it. Oh, there we go, finally. Oh my god, of course he topples completely the wrong way. That is this game in a goddamn nutshell. Go away! These goddamn... Blinding snails are driving me nuts. All right, Jesus. That's the end of that one. All right, let's uh, do an emote at the end of the run. Style on them. This is my favorite emote. I love this big chair. Barely any XP either. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> All right, we'll switch over to, uh, we'll do a different weapon this time. Do something I'm a bit more used to. I haven't played Fists in a while, so I was a little rusty, and I really hate <laughs> that, uh, Savat, I think? That's how I pronounce it. It's probably wrong, but that's how I pronounce it, that big electric scyther-looking thing. level ups I do any of these uh, no hey I did a little progress towards one but didn't finish any oh week eight right 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 new quests deal 8k 3k damage in a single hit with pike all right, well, let's get that quest done. Um, let's see. I'm going to have to use... I can't use this pike. I'm going to have to use... Um, oh, I don't have... Hmm. I guess I'll have to use this one. And, oh, why did I use this? 
I don't know. I'm like, I don't, I don't know why I had that one. Ooh, excuse me. Um, why do I have this? Oh, I guess just because this, the way this build was, I suppose. Uh, all right, well, I gotta change this build all around. Oh, do do do! Get some rage in here. I'll get some. Oh, you know what? If I'm doing, uh, if I gotta do big hit. We want pulse, not cunning. Um, pulse and sure, I guess catalyst. Yeah, sure. We'll do catalyst. Why not? All right. Uh, let's see. Do I got a cool pike skin? Probably do. Oh yeah, we'll use this one. And let's change my dyes. I like to make sure that my dyes match my element. So I was using a light element pike on this build, but now we're using a fire one. So let's. Get some nice fiery colors going on. There we go. All right. Um, oh yeah. Come over here. Just want to make sure that. Oh, there we go. Let's make sure this is powered up. That way, I have plus six overpower. And all right, let's go. We'll go do another one of those. But this time with a significantly higher level weapon. Level 19 instead of level 5. Uh, which pike is not my main weapon. My main weapon is sword. But I have dabbled quite a bit in the old art of the pike. So... <clears throat> But yeah, maybe if this these videos do well enough, then I start streaming it. Maybe someday we could uh, do some um, viewer uh, hunts together. <clears throat> All righty. Time to do some killing all right so every weapon obviously plays very differently from one another so pike is all about combos and whatnot uh, or strikers i mean fists what we used last time was all about combos pike is Kind of supporty almost. Let's see, is this gonna do enough damage? Boom! <laughs> that was an easy quest. Yeah, I I like Pike. <laughs> Pike is pretty fun. Ooh, 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 I'm gonna I'm set up for a nice big damage hit right away. But yeah, the what pulse does is it makes it so that every set number of hits what okay uh every set number of hits makes it a guaranteed critical so pulse is really good if you know exactly what hit you want to be a crit um because then you can make it always crit so the pike has a like missile special where you like fire a rocket at something so it works pretty well with pulse because then you can make it so that your missile is always gonna do a critical hit which is what i am set up to do right now boom <laughs> instantly broke his face <laughs> yeah i saw that coming this thing is so annoying because he, like, anything that constantly backs up is just the biggest pain in the butt. Like, it's so annoying to, well, I 
apparently I did another challenge. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. Let's finish this guy off. <laughs> I love that missile so much. It's so good. One thing I used to do a lot um, with the... Because every monster can make a different weapon. And so those fists that I was using last hunt that placed the ice mine, those are made from the behemoth Pangar? Yeah, Pangar. My, my sister calls it Pagnar, so we I tend to call it Pagnar a lot too, but it, its name is actually Pangar. Um... One thing I used to do a lot with the Pangar Pike is I would run in, place the ice mine, and then jump back and detonate it with a missile. And that was like a nice little one-two punch. This thing's a pain in the butt. Pop! Yes! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I don't even have an attack potion going. My god. Boom. Alright, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, same spot. Do this attack a little bit while my stamina fills back up. Oh, no. Oh, perfect. Okay. Come over here. Get this interrupt. Bop. Sixteen K. Oh, my God. <laughs> Going nutty with this pike. Maybe I should try to use pike to break some parts sometimes. Pike? That pike, uh... Well, actually, the, the pike that I would had equipped on this build before I switched it uh, way, way back in the day was actually the, uh, the meta pike for breaking parts. Alrighty. Um, this video is actually quite long already. Uh, we'll probably do one more easy, and then maybe next time we'll, uh, we'll do a hard. Because I... Don't want to make my videos super long, just because that makes them take a long time to upload. I did not intend for yet. Oh, I, I rolled right into that. Uh, I did not intend for yesterday's video to go so long, but uh, after I got the shiny, uh, I was just so excited and had to had to show it off. Bop. <laughs> God, I love that. The pike uh, missile is so good. Anything with pulse is so good. It's just like, well, anything that's good with pulse, that is. Uh, we'll use our chain blades next, because that's something else that's pretty good with pulse. The best thing to use with pulse is axe, which I do dabble in axe. Axe is... My second highest reforged weapon. Reforging is like prestiging your weapon, essentially. Once you get to level 20, you can reforge, and it will put your little, like, it'll put you back to level 1 with the weapon, but you'll get, like, a little, like, prestige number. So. A, <clears throat> the best way to tell how like far into the game someone is is by looking at what their highest reforge weapon is so like here i'll zoom back in so we can uh, see again so like this guy next to me is reforge 11 level 20 so he could reforge and be a reforge 12 but he hasn't yet but he could be trying to fill up this little bar right here this is the banked xp bar so once you hit level 20 you can, like, continue to store XP up to uh, a certain point, and then when you reforge, it'll put you at a higher level than one. So, like, 
here, let me switch over to sword for a second, because I'm actually working on maxing my bank dex P before I, uh, so yeah, see how my little, my little bar down here, each one of these tick marks is another level threshold, so once you hit this one, you'll reforge a two, three, four, five, and if you get it all the way to the end, you'll reforge it six instead of one. So it's pretty useful. You do gain one banked XP you gain at a like 75% rate. So like you don't get banked XP as fast as you get um, regular XP. But if you're already level 20 and want to do some like hard content that being max level is Ooh, excuse me, that being leveled up is helpful for. At least you're still getting some XP for it instead of just none whatsoever. But for the most part, it's best to uh, actually reforge this right away. Uh, but I like to come out at six instead of one, so I don't mind waiting. And it just lets me do hard content longer because obviously the higher level you are with your weapon, the more damage you do. So reforging makes you do less damage because it lowers your level. Technically, there's no point in reforging after 10 because you gain boosts for the amount of time, yeah, I'll show you. Uh, you gain boosts for the amount of times you reforge, but it stops giving you them after reforge 10. Um, yeah, so here in the Slayer's Path, right here, all of these, so like this is, let me zoom back in so you can actually see things. So yeah, for reforging sword, you get plus 2% weapon charge rate, which is pretty handy. For doing axe, you get 1% power, which is just like damage, kind of. It's, it's a weird stat. Uh, for doing hammer, you get 3% stagger damage. Chain blades, you get stamina reduction, or stamina cost reduction. Uh, pike, you get wound damage. Repeaters, you get movement speed, uh, and then strikers, you get attack speed, and then for just reforging anything 10 times, or at all, up to 10 times is the max, though, you get extra XP, so, yeah, alright, let's get this camera all readjusted, I'm so sorry for my poor, uh, poor setup, it is only temporary, Hopefully, not too much longer either. All right. Um. Oh yeah. This is this this build. I uh, is quite new. Um. Oh oh. This is a lesser one. I was gonna say, geez, I am bodying this thing, but it, it's lesser. That's why. Um. Yeah. This build I'm using is kind of new, and I'm not super used to it. So. Yeah, if I if I start dying, I'm gonna blame it on that. <clears throat> All right. But yeah, next video we will do a hard one, or maybe two, depending on how long the first one takes and how tilted I am <clears throat> at the end of it. We might do a second. The boss for this one is kind of a pain. <laughs> I have beat him before, but he is much easier now that this is out. Because he used to be not in this area of the game, and being in this area of the game makes it significantly easier to manage. Alright, I'll show you why uh, Chain Blades is good with Pulse and can do... This. Oh, I missed. <clears throat> wow, of course I miss. I mean, technically I popped that little annoying shield thing, but I don't really care about that. Yeah, 
course I take damage to that. Oh, that's not the not the lantern I thought it was. Build is different. Big pulse slam. Kaboom! Oh, that was that was disappointing. Oh no, no. Oh, I'm great I'm stuck in this. Go away. God, I hate this thing so much. It's such a pain in the ass. It's f <laughs> it's everywhere, and like I just I hate him so much. I'm gonna have to remember to bleep that. <laughs> uh yeah, I hate that thing so much. He's such a pain. <clears throat> One thing that they changed in this update that I, I genuinely don't understand why they changed it is... Ooh, uh, everything... Now that Radiant Escalation is out, every element has its own escalation. And before this update... Oh, they were special, like, versions of a lot of creatures that you could only find in their respective escalations. That, that thing that I just, oh my god, that thing I fought before being one of them that would only show up in Terra Escalation. This past update completely did away with the fact that things are only ever in their respective ones so now there's like no point in things like the whole like system is just like pointless now because it, it it was supposed to like or i guess not supposed to but it, it felt like it was supposed to be fire things only or blaze only in blaze shock shock didn't have any uh any variants, unfortunately, but I mean, Jesus, I'm so bad. Oh, all right. Um, but yeah, shock things would only be in shock. Blaze would only be in blaze. Umbral was only in umbral. Terra was only in Terra, and Frost was only in Frost. N now that means nothing because you can find anything anywhere and it's really annoying like i absolutely hate that change and genuinely don't understand why they did it because it it, it just completely defeats the whole point of having various different escalations because they don't like, what, what's the point of, like, going to Blaze to fight Blaze things if Blaze things will show up anywhere? Like, that's kinda dumb. <laughs> Which, one, one thing that is nice is... So, like, Blaze is super effective against Frost. So, Blaze things won't show up in Frost, but now they'll show up anywhere else. Like, before, you would only have things that were naturally an element show up outside of their element. Now you can have things that were specially made for one specific escalation show up outside of there. Which just makes no sense to me. Jeez, that, that, was, <laughs> that was a good hit. 17k, that, I, I told you, see, I, I told you that Pulse is good with, uh, good with Chain Blades. We'll get this guy killed and wrap this video up, but that was not too bad. Um, big chair, big chair. Oh, definitely easier on me to record uh, some of these videos instead of the egg hatching, having to do all the time lapsing and whatnot, but yeah, that's that's a little dauntless. Um, definitely play played again, uh, especially in between shiny hunts. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to hunt next. 
Um, but that's uh, that's, that's something to worry about for uh, another Pokemon video. But this isn't a Pokemon video. This was a Dauntless video. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this game and uh, definitely check it out for yourselves because it is free to play and it's on every console. So yeah, there's no excuse to not at least try it. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.